Good morning, Brenda. Come on, Brenda. There was none of the normal peanut butter that we get at Coles the other day, so we've ended up with this natural peanut butter, which is super slushy. Have a look at this, you can just pour it in. All right, Brenda, your time to shine. I don't know how this got so out of hand today, but there's just an absolute milk conundrum happening. All right, I think that one's pretty good. Finish that off with a bit of PT. See you tomorrow, Brenda. Hey. This is where the old Mugosaurus Rexes live. Oh, this smells like two minute noodles. We probably didn't wash the pot completely last time because it was raining, so coffee and two-minute noodles, eh? Stirry mixture with a good old switcheroo. Now that we've gotten rid of a few more groceries, we can actually fit our little pot back in here so it doesn't have to live down there, which is really handy. We'll pack up and get moving. Hoi folks and welcome back to another installment of the Adventures of Jake and Trishy. Today we're starting off at Agnes Waters. It's been a bit of a slow morning, um, it's been raining on and off all day so every time we've tried to get out of the car it's just started belting rain again so we're back in but it seems to have cleared up a little bit. I'll uh, show you the beach here. Oh, I've lost me jacket. Is it in the back tire? We've got flannies on flannies happening here. Ah, here it is. That's coming with me. Oop, look at that, guys. Oops, left the toothpaste out from this morning. Yeet! Now I've done a bit of googling and a bit of YouTubing and apparently this is a pretty cost effective lure but the split rings here and the hooks aren't the strongest so what I'm going to do is I've got some sort of upgraded hooks that are a similar size, they're a little bit bigger but they should be stronger. Um, and the same with these split rings, I've got some bigger, stronger split rings too. So I'm going to swap these out for the new split rings and hooks. Little Twizzler thing going on here. There we go. 
go, we'll twizzle that twizzler back up. Hook your dream. Sounds like I've got the right split ring. There we go. So, comparison side by side. Old hook with old split ring compared to new hook with new split ring. Certainly looks tougher. So there's a bit of a conundrum here. Essentially, I've got to attach this split ring to this hole, but I can't get the ring open wide enough with the pliers to get around that edge. It's just not happening. So I don't know if I need a, a bigger hole so there's less material here to get around, or if I just need a better set of pliers because these are quite light duty and I haven't done split rings before, so yeah. Either way, conundrum to be solved another day. There we are. This is what we're taking down. All right, everything is in the trusty bum bag. Got the rods. Let's roll. Don't mind the old uh, balaclava face mask thing I've got going on. I'm just not a huge fan of sunscreen on the old noggin, and this seems to do the trick. I just put a little bit of sunscreen on the old nose. And yeah, let's go see what we can catch. Standards anyway. Well, they got a 20 pound leader on. In hindsight, maybe not the best. Yes, this is what we're here for. It's just out there. Try walk him up this little sliver.
headed over the edge. We're gonna have to move. Oh. We're gonna have to move. All right, it's coming in here now. Need a decent wave here. We'll see if we can get him up and into this zone. Oh, it's a big ledge. Oh no! It's around the edge. Oh, this is a bad spot to be. Oh, very bad. Oh, very danger. Come on. Come on. Back this way. Ah! No! <laughs> Oh no. Sharpie sure? There he is. Oh no, we're on rocks, I can feel it. Oh the line's on a rock. No 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 no. Oh he's right over the edge. Oh no. No. Oh. oh no, what do I do? No! My line is touching the end of this rock, I don't know what to do. Alright, loosen off, I've got to get out of the danger zone. Hopefully he doesn't get away. I'm gonna get swept off there. Alright. Oh. Here we go, we're on the good side now. We still got him on. Oh, he swapped back over there. Oh, he's gone back over there. Alright. He's going back. Alright, we're going back. <laughs> He's over there. He's off the stuff. Yes. Alright, this is good. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. I don't know if we've taken any damage on the line from touching the rocks over there, I hope not. I'm going to try to pump him in this little zone before he gets back. Oh, he's going around again. Here he goes. Oh, I think we got him around the edge. There he is, what is he? I'm calling that a proper fish. Come on. Up. Oh. Ah. Woo. Ah. Yes. Little exercise park here. Bad Gaz has cooked up the usual. Nice work, Bad Gaz. We've got our side table out on our tyre. It's all happening, Gaz. Let's get a bit of water happening. Oh, I'm still ecstatic about that fish. Woo. Super exciting. That won't wear off for a while. I'll definitely, Oh, I'll do my best to get back there tomorrow. I don't see why we shouldn't be able to make it happen and hopefully we can hook into something else. Oh, come on. Uh, this is uh, Jose, by the way. Meet Jose. Come on, Jose, get out of there. There we go. We've noticed it's pretty common for public taps on the road to not have this screw on bit, so we just bring one with us. Just lives in the hose there. There we go, because if you don't have that, you can't really fill up. Shouldn't need too much water in here, I don't think. 
All right, we're gonna fill up one of our jerry cans now. So you can see we have two here and we basically just alternate. So once one's empty, uh, we switch this over and fill one up when we get a chance. So bad gas here, it's gonna pass us in the hose. Thank you. And we do sometimes get a little bit of leaking here. So we just chuck the towel down there to protect all gases close. All right, hit it gas. Yep, that's good. A little faster. Perfect. This little magnetic torch that we bought is really good. It sort of just sticks anywhere and you can even stick it on this latch. So it's like a, you know, overhead type light into here. And we just try to blow down this and get the excess water out of the hose. pretty good probably could have kept it out of the mud but oh well always next time all right Jose time to go back in your bag there we go that's all for today see ya